you have to change somebody's life with a piece of equipment. Welcome to the Heroes of Sport virtual celebration. My name is Bob Babbitt, co-founder of the Challenged Athletes Foundation. In this show, you'll witness the healing power of sport as we share the incredible work of the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Every one of us has been navigating our way through this pandemic in our own ways, at times difficult, other times empowering, and sometimes even joyous. There's no better way to kick off our time together than with a glimpse at how our challenged athletes are powering through these challenging times. Man, we're stuck. The coronavirus has really taken a huge toll on everyone, especially people with disabilities. Paralympics being postponed until 2021. Felt devastated right away, but CAF has really helped. I was so excited to hear from the Challenge Athletes Foundation that I received a grant for some training, which is going to be so helpful once I'm able to get active and back at the barn. This grant was truly a ray of sunshine in an otherwise dark time. I'm smiling because I received my first CAF grant to travel all over the world. I would just like to take a moment and thank the Challenged Athletes Foundation and their donors for me to get a new basketball wheelchair. They're giving everybody that I care about and I know hope. I'm so excited to get running legs. Thank you, CAF, for supporting me in my dreams. I cannot wait until we beat this pandemic together. What an incredible video. Tonight, we gather around our screens, tablets, or phones to experience the human spirit in a way that the digital world rarely allows. We are so grateful that you've chosen to join us at a moment in our history where time seems endless and yet also fleeting all at once. Tonight, we'll answer the questions, how can a piece of adaptive sports equipment open the door to societal acceptance? How can introduction to a mentor with the same physical challenge demonstrate there's life beyond the four walls of their perceived limitation? How can one community's unwielding belief in a person make them finally believe in themselves and inspire them to join the game of life? And in this time where our world is unsettled and we are isolated from each other, we see even greater need for virtual resources, mentor connections, and showing our athletes they are still seen and heard. CAF has pivoted our support from tracks, pools, arenas, and rec centers to living rooms, neighborhood streets, and virtual team huddles. We have shown up where and when we are needed the most. If you believe in what we are doing, we urge you to donate throughout the program to show your support for the lives we change together. Our mission is needed now more than ever to keep our athletes pursuing their dreams. You can also visit DonateCF.com to show your support. So let's get to it. So many athletes in our community look up to our CAF ambassadors as role models. Their wisdom and perspective continues to inspire our community. Let's hear from a few of our amazing CAF ambassadors. Most people with disability, most of our challenge athletes, they're pretty tough. Somebody who's been in a situation like us, we already have this mindset of what to do or how to do it to get through it. Whatever you're going through is very valid and it's as real for you as it is for anyone else. All of us as human beings feel fear, but we all need to push through it and 
and live our lives. The Challenge Athletes Foundation, myself, we want everybody to, to continue your active lifestyle. Adapting is being creative, using what you have. Doing some push-ups or some air squats or arm drills. I'm very big on meditation. I'm very big on training the mind before you train the body. Write down some things that you are grateful for, even if it's something as simple as like, I have a meal today. I want the CF community to know that you're not alone. We are accessible virtually. I want them to know that CF is here for them. Get on the internet and, and contact one of us. If we're given an opportunity, we can do anything. And then when we do things together, we're strong. And the more we're seeing, the more power we have. If you are feeling low, call somebody up. Give an encouraging word, because those are always things that lift me up, doing something for somebody else. CF is not an organization, it's a family. This is not gonna last forever. When we get through the other side of this, we're gonna be celebrating at the finish line. Wow, those are some powerful words. Now we're gonna meet two amazing athletes who are bonded by the sport of football. Alex Ruiz was a junior in high school playing quarterback for the Linfield Lions in Temecula, California. Everything changed when a seemingly regular tackle created a desperate situation, fracturing his leg. The injury severed the popliteal artery in the back of his knee, leaving his leg permanently damaged, which led to his amputation. But the sport he loved was also the sport that helped him through. His teammates were with him through all the days of his recovery and eventually welcomed him back to the field on the last game of his senior year, where he proceeded to throw a touchdown pass on his very first play back. Let's see how Alex is paying it forward and helping another high school football quarterback. Calder Hodge is from Magnolia, Texas and all he has ever known is a desire to make an impact on the football field. He was born missing bones in both legs. He became a double above knee amputee at the age of two. He's now 14 years old and the youngest of four boys. Calder grew up watching, playing, and dreaming about sports. His dream is to be the first double amputee quarterback in the NFL, and he works hard every single day to achieve that dream. Hey Calder, it's me, Alex Ruiz. Uh, I'm currently a Challenge Athletes Foundation recipient and a former high school quarterback. Uh, same to you as I heard about you a little bit. Um, I personally lost my leg as a result to a football injury that I suffered my junior year in high school. And I just wanted to kind of meet you and talk football, talk shop a little bit and hear a little bit more about your story as I share my experience with you about CAF and how I've been involved and how they've helped me in so many ways. Recently it's been, you know, we're under quarantine, so I'm just trying to stay in shape and uh, get ready for my sophomore season. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit of work in with my teammates when we can mm -hmm. and uh, just trying to stay ready. I want to talk a little bit about CAF and kind of what they did for me. Uh, so one thing that CAF did to me in my lifelong mentor that I never truly met, but I always looked up to and studied hours and hours of film on YouTube uh, was Drew Brees. They ended up having him present me with my prosthetic leg and they kind of just had me come down and didn't tell me anything and it was the craziest experience of my life. So I ended up telling Drew Brees about you and talking and kind of just saying like, hey, like there's this kid, I want you to meet him. So I think somebody is on the line for you right now that wants to kind of give you some advice and talk you through this as well. Calder, what's up, man? What's going on, Drew? <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing really good. How are yeah, you? I'm great. Alex? What's I'm, going on? <laughs> I appreciate you letting me crash the, uh, the virtual QB meeting you guys are having. Hey, no big deal. <laughs> good, man. You guys doing awesome? Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, good. Calder, welcome to the uh, welcome to the QB Brotherhood, man. <laughs> Thank you. And and to the CAF family. Thank you so much. Absolutely. What uh, what do you guys been talking about? Just talking ball. Just talking Talk shop a little bit. Talking shop. All right. You giving him you giving him some some of your secrets, Alex? Hey, you got all the secrets. I don't know about me. I'm just trying yeah. to help him out a little bit. You got all the secrets. I got you. Well, hey, man, we're we're all in this together. Yes, sir. We're all in this together. You uh, you excited to have Alex be your mentor now? Yeah, it's a uh, it's in a it's gonna be a good experience because I always like taking in knowledge from older players and players that 
especially like Alex, who he's lost his leg, so he kind of knows what it's like to play quarterback with a missing leg. Yeah. So it's it's going to be new because I've never had a mentor that was missing a leg that played quarterback. But it's going to be it's going to be a good experience. I can already feel it. Yeah. I tell you what, man. I was I was so excited to meet Alex and and then to watch him work his way back and throw touchdown passes in high school again. And I remember seeing those videos and just being so pumped up for him and so proud, man. That was awesome. Well, I, I can't I can't wait to watch you play. You you've got to. I'm going to be keeping track of you, and, and I, I I better I better be sent some some videos of your your training and watching you get back at it. Yes, sir. So me, me and uh, Challenge Athletes Foundation, um, I know that they're, they're going to be a big part of your life now too, but um, uh, we both work with Smoothie King. So I just want to let you know you got, a, you got a goodie bag of Smoothie King stuff coming your way. And I know there's a bunch of those down there in Texas. So um, we've got a great relationship with those guys. You're going to get a goodie bag. And then also I'm going to send you, um, I'm going to send you an autographed jersey. All right. So maybe give you, give you, give you a little inspiration, right? Thank you. Um, so my birthday yeah, is next, so that's perfect. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right. How 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 old are you gonna be? I'm gonna be 15. All right, buddy. That's great, man. Well, early happy birthday. Um, hope you don't mind me uh, me crashing the conversation here, but <laughs> you're you're in good hands with Alex and CAF, and let me know if I can do anything for you. And I can't wait to watch you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Calder. I'll see you, buddy. Bye. Alex, see you, man. Let's talk. Peace soon. out. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to the amazing Drew Brees, who helps us reinforce that athletes of all abilities deserve a place on the team. No one else proves that more than our next athlete, Hunter Woodhall. Hunter earned a place on the track and field team at the University of Arkansas, becoming the first double baloney amputee track and field athlete to get a Division I scholarship. More importantly, he's become a role model for so many. Hunter checked in on two youth athletes who look up to him. Jack Cunningham and Chase Merriweather are also bilateral amputees and are missing friends and teammates. Let's see what happened when the three of them connected. This quarantine is getting to me, man. I've gotta go on a run with my boys for sure. Let me text them. Hey boys, when are we going on a run though? Yeah, it's off. Let's do this. Let's go. Don't worry, boys, I'm on the way. What's up, my guy? Let's do this. Chase, looking strong, man. Love that. Just can't wait to get back on track, you know? It's killing me. It is. I can't wait to run around those races again. Dude, I'll race you that stop sign right now. We're gonna beat you. I bet. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's start right there. I see you. Yes, let's go, guys. I needed that. Good job, though. Good job. Here we go. Atta boy. All right, boys, let's run home. Let's go home, and I'm going to beat you. There's some motivation for you. Before an athlete can step on the field or onto the race course, there are some special people beyond CAF that help get them there. Thanks to CAF's longtime prosthetic partner, OSER, this year alone, we distributed 134 OSER sports and running prosthetics to athletes. And there's some extra magic behind every one of those legs. Over the past few weeks, Challenged Athletes Foundation has been checking in on our athletes around the country. You're gonna love this next segment. Hi, Heather, it's Jamie Marseille. Hi. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? I first again want to say congratulations on being a CAF 2020 grantee. Thank you so much. I want to run, I want to move, and that's why I'm so excited about the lights. I'm just overjoyed that I get to do things now and not feel like I'm going to just sit on the sidelines. I don't want to do that. That's just not my personality in general. I see this life and expression and passion for wanting to get active 
talking to you that I hadn't seen before. I feel like I missed out on so much of life. I don't want to anymore. I just want to run around and just move. I want to feel like I did before. That's wonderful. I want to learn from you. I'm like, how do I run? I'm going to be bothering you. <laughs> I would love to run with you. Just to feel the air in your face and run is like a dream. I mean, when I rode a bike, I was like almost in tears. It was like the air. I just know that you're going to break so many barriers and you're going to be able to use this grant to really take your own physical activity to the next level. I'm so excited. I, I really am. Everyone at CAF is so blessed and honored to share this path with you. And like I said, we welcome you with open arms. Thank you. It just shows that the programs that CAF puts forth and the contacts that they make, we continue to change lives all the way around. We're about to check in on first time grant recipient, Becky Hui, and she's at her appointment with Rick Myers at Southern California Prosthetics, and she's starting the process of getting her very first OSER running prosthetic leg made. She's super excited to get back to a fit life because she had her leg amputated because of uh, cancer. And she was active before, and she wants to be active again, both in a fitness lifestyle, but she's also a nurse, which means she's on her feet all the time. So let's go say hi to Becky. Hi. Hi, Becky. I heard you were in the office today getting fit uh, for your 2020 grant from the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know you have some big goals, like you want to take this flex run and reach a lot of finish lines. What's your next goal? My ultimate goal, I think, is to run a half marathon one day. So yeah. Becky, uh -huh. um, on behalf of CAF, we're gonna send you a Nike CAF running care package with a couple of goodies. To, so you have a couple other things to help you on your running journey and okay. some things that you can wear and motivate you um, as you keep striving for those goals. Thank you, CAF. As a CAF ambassador, I'm so proud to be a mentor to inspire and motivate young girls. It's one of the most important things that I'm able to do and I think it's valuable to be able to give back. One such young girl that I've really connected with is a CAF Idaho athlete, Kennison Bird. So let's check in with her. <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> Since we've met and since you've been introduced to the CAF family about a year ago, what has CAF, what has the CAF community meant to you? And, and maybe most importantly, what has it done for Sweet Kennison? <laughs> um, CAF is just like kind of this incredible family. Kennison is no longer, oh, that little girl with the amputee, she's Kennison and she gets to just be her and the opportunities that it's provided for her and for you know people all over it's just an incredible thing to be able to watch my child grow and know that there's a, a whole big group of not just athletes but this foundation that can help her with anything she'll ever need in the future to be able to be the athlete that she wants to be and that we know that she can be. Kennison, I cannot wait to see what more you're going to continue to do not only this year but I know that you are just going to be uh, an incredible athlete and an even better person and so we are excited to see the heights and the places that you are going to go. Thank you CAF. Thank you. Bye bye. Among our athletes and their families, we have doctors, nurses, hospital staff, law enforcement, food distributors, firefighters, and many others in critical positions on the front line of this fight. We are beyond grateful for their service. Let's take a look at this tribute. dreams before us nothing to hold us back you showed me we are
with CAF support across 103 different sports, yep, 103 different sports, we have made dreams come true on turf, tracks, waves, courts, and yes, even on ice. What started as a passion at age five for sticking a puck became a lifelong journey for Tim Kane as a hockey player. But the journey was interrupted at age 12 when his vision began to deteriorate due to a genetic condition, ultimately leaving him blind at age 15. But with perseverance, he continued to play the sport he loved. Let's take a look. Tim, how you doing, bud? I'm oh, pretty good, Bob. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Best CAF memory? So far, it's been the all-star game with you <laughs> when, when, we, when we did the check and everything like that. And it's one of the first checks I've ever been able to read without having to hold it right next to my face. Now, he's from Granville, Michigan. He's worked tirelessly to grow the sport in both the United States and worldwide because of his dedication to the sport of blind hockey. Bob Babbitt, one of the co-founders of the Challenge Athletes Foundation, presented him with a $2,000 grant to help him with his travel expenses to get to the 2020 Blind Hockey World Championships. Unfortunately, until we're a Paralympic sport, you know, blind hockey is going to be player funded. It just means so much to, to know that there's a foundation out there like CAF uh, that, that is really helping not just, you know, visually impaired people, but anybody with a disability uh, participate in the, in the sport and the activity that they love and uh, in a lot of cases that they've lost. And I was uh, telling a, a buddy of mine about you and about what you've been up to, and he's a big hockey fan, mm -hmm. and he actually sent along a little video that he wanted me to share with you. Hi, Tim. My name is Dallas Aikens, and I'm the head coach of the Anaheim Ducks. Your story is inspiring, and it will inspire many going forward. I hope you are very proud of yourself, and I want to wish you luck in everything that you do in your future. Keep going. That was really cool. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> when hockey comes back, hopefully, uh, what, what are your goals? Uh, the ultimate goal is to participate in the in the Paralympics and hopefully come home with a medal. Person you miss seeing the most during this time? It's the person that I miss seeing most all the time would be my dad. Uh, I passed away about five years ago. Um, so especially not being able to have him be a part of blind hockey, uh, that hits home pretty pretty much every day. Uh, it would have been great to have him around to see me put on that USA jersey for the first time. Getting that grant, what does that mean to you? Hockey is something that that has been such a big part of my life. Being awarded this grant just goes to show that there are people out there that care. It just means so much to me as a participant, knowing that, that through grants like this, we can continue to grow the game and make it available to more people. And now we'll turn to a legendary sports figure whose heart on the court is matched by his passion for helping people and his love of our athletes and our mission. Let's hear from the amazing Bill Walton. It's one of my favorite people on the planet, basketball Hall of Famer, Grateful Dead Hall of Famer, Challenge Athlete Foundation Hall of Famer, Mr. Bill Walton. Bill, how you doing? I'm alive, Bob. Doing fantastic, health is terrific, family is fine, but we are so aware and so concerned about what's happening with the rest of the world. And fortunately, the Challenge Athletes Foundation delivers the perfect message a message of hope, a message of health, community, and service in support of the needs of others. And that's why we're here today to make sure that those are the most vulnerable among us do not get left behind, do not get ignored, because that is the true meaning of a team. And I'm not sure I've ever been on a better team than the Challenged Athletes Foundation. So many different memories, all the events that we've done, and the scope of the help that the Challenged Athletes Foundation does. And where else could you find finer people, more passionate people, or a finer purpose in life? The purpose of being able to lift someone else's spirit, give them an opportunity, give them a reason to keep going, and give them the opportunity to leverage the power and the value of sport. Billy, why is it important now more than ever to support CAF and, and our athletes? We can never lose focus of the big picture. COVID-19 is the single most daunting, fearsome, and challenging opponent adversary that I have ever faced. But the rest of life's challenges continue on. 
people need participation in sports. People need to be a part of a team. It's what gives us our purpose in life. It's what enables us to build our own individual foundation of health. The strength of the team is the strength of the individual. And there is nothing better, nothing better in life than to see someone else succeed. We will get by, we will survive, we are alive. We are the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Wow, so many powerful moments. Whether you're learning about CAF for the very first time or have been supporting us for years, thank you for your support during this difficult time. And as we fight to continue to fulfill our mission, it takes a team. And the next two athletes we get to meet remind us what we can do when we feel like we have a team pulling for us. These heroes of sport are seven-year-old Olive and her 11-year-old sister Willow, who were both born with spina bifida and use wheelchairs for mobility. Let's check out the video. Hi. Hey. Hey, I heard you guys got some grants from CAS. Yeah. So now you're getting a track chair, Olive? Yeah. That's so cool, and you're getting a new basketball chair, Willow. Yeah. We're gonna tell them congratulations. Your puppy is like moving around. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I have a couple of my teammates on the phone, and they want to tell you guys congratulations too. I'm super excited for you guys. Congrats on your CAF grant. I can't wait to see how much you guys love your new chairs. So what are you gonna do with your CAF equipment? What? It, how did it change your life? Now I can practice at home and practice more. And uh, I can be able to take my equipment home too. And how are you practicing basketball from home? We practice in our driveway. We have a basketball hoop and, and two balls. What are some of your favorite drills to do together to practice? Give and go. Give and go? Tell me more about that. One of us dribbles up, then I pass it to Olive, and she gives it back, and I shoot. And then we switch. You guys are going to make a USA team someday with all that experience, right? Yep. Yeah, hopefully. What are some of your dreams with military basketball? Do you want to maybe one day play on a USA team? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? We would like to see what your expression is going to look like when you receive your basketball wheelchair and your track wheelchair. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then stare at each other competitively. When we're together and we're competitive, it's more like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks about right. That looks natural. <laughs> we already know you guys are gonna do great things. So. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Hopefully one day everyone will have the equipment that fits them all throughout their lives. And that's what CAF is doing and that's why we love CAF. Yay! <laughs> yes. We have a WNBA star from your area that has a message for you. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> hey Olive and Willow, Elena Deladon here, WNBA player from the Washington Mystics. Congrats on your 2020 equipment grants from the Challenge Athletes Foundation. I hear you're both rising stars in wheelchair basketball and wheelchair racing. And now your new adaptive sports equipment is going to make you absolutely unstoppable. Keep powering through with your training. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. It's awesome. It's exciting. We'd really like to see them on the court. A huge thank you to those incredible Team USA wheelchair basketball players who unfortunately just found out that their Paralympic dreams are on hold for another year until the Tokyo Games happen in 2021. But that doesn't stop them from inspiring the next generation of players. And thank you to Elena Deladon for sharing your support. Inspiring our young challenge athletes is so important. Research shows that children and youth with a disability are four times less likely to be physically active and 38% more likely to be obese than their able-bodied peers. By reaching youth at the earliest possible opportunity, especially after a life-changing illness or injury, we can turn their chances around. And it doesn't hurt to get some extra inspiration along the way. You're gonna love this next segment. 
what's your favorite, Max? My favorite sports tennis. Your yeah. favorite sports tennis. What, what do you like yeah. about it? It makes me feel good because I like to win. <laughs> sports have been a life a life changer and a lifesaver for him. I think especially from a from such a young age, he had all of this energy and he really needed an outlet. Once we threw him into adaptive sports, he took to all of it very well and, and he it gave him such an opportunity to flourish and blossom, to make new friends. First of all, congrats on your new tennis wheelchair. What does this grant mean to, to you, Max? This grant means a lot because my chair, last time my chair didn't fit. So this chair will help me raise my game, like move faster, get to the ball faster. So we have a special friend of CAF uh, record a message just for you, Max. We have a video message from a tennis legend by the name of Andre Agassi. Oh my God. Hi Max, Andre Agassi here. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to, um, Congratulate you on your 2020 CAF uh, grant that you received for a brand new, beautiful tennis wheelchair. That is pretty exciting. Wow. I'm sure you're gonna be unstoppable now. Those things are awesome. And uh, I wish you all the best of luck with your training. I know with CAF support, you're gonna be just uh, continually growing in the sport. And I do wish you the best and I hope that you go as far as your dreams want you to go. And I look forward to seeing you out there. So keep working hard. Never stop working hard, and God bless. Take care. Bye. That was awesome. Uh, Andre a, was a really close friend of Robin Williams, and Robin Williams uh, created an endowment fund when he, when he passed away for CAF to ensure athletes like Max get the support needed to pursue your dreams in sport. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, yeah, that was, was so awesome. nice. Wow. <laughs> for you, Clarissa, what, is, what does Challenge Athletes Foundation mean to you? Max had told us a while back, back when he was presenting some trophies at the U.S. Open, that he wanted to play there one day. And, you know, it was the first time we heard him, you know, really vocalize that he, he had a desire or a dream that big. Everything that you guys have done to help him achieve this dream is, you know, we are so grateful for it. And, and we can't, we just can't wait to see what that brings. How many times during the past few weeks have we found ourselves grateful for a confidence boost from a teammate, an encouraging word from a coach, or a phone call from a friend we admire? Well, thankfully, CAF has helped deliver many of those moments. Hi guys, well, this is for you. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, how you doing? It's great, how you doing? Very good. Very good. Hello. Good. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm NASCAR driver Jimmy Johnson, and I wanted to congratulate all the 2020 recipients of your CAF grants. Keep up the great work. Hey everybody, Ken Worth here, professional triathlete and pro cyclist with Team Ineos. Uh, such an honour for me to be involved with uh, the CAF Foundation. It's a constant source of, of strength for me in races. Um, you know, going through a difficult moment, always think of you guys and and everything that uh, you show what uh, true grit and fighting spirit truly is. Just want to congratulate each and every one of the uh, 2020 Heroes of Sport grantees. present you with your walking prosthetic leg but not just this but we are committing to you that in the fall once you get the hang of this 
and it's ready to start running and training and competing again, we're going to get you your athletic training prosthetic as well. Hey, this is Eric Burns. I just want to uh, give some love to the Challenge Athletes Foundation, Heroes of Sport. I've had a chance to run with a couple of the Challenge Athletes, including Breezy and my dude Eric McElvaney. Can't tell you how impactful that CAF has been to all these people's lives. And I'd just like to say thank you to them and congratulations to everybody who getting the grant. That's awesome. Let's keep charging. Thank you to all you legends of sport. We really appreciate your amazing support. And now I get to introduce you to an inspiration that caught our eye on Instagram just a few weeks ago. I had a chance to check in with this grant recipient last week. There's nothing that can keep 63-year-old Clifton Rodney down. He's had thyroid cancer, pancreatic cancer, diabetes, double organ transplant, and an amputation. None of that can keep him from dreaming of a day when he would be able to run again. Well, that day came and it was captured by his amazing family and shared on Instagram. Let's take a look. Let me just start out by telling you that I want to thank CAF uh, for the grant that they gave me. From our perspective, it was seeing the Instagram post and having you talk about your leg as your 57 Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got it here. It's, it's pretty nice looking. That's an Oser. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it is definitely an Oser. And oh, wait, you got fires on. on. What, you got flames? Flames. That's why I considered my, my Chevy. I went to tell them, well, what can I put on this leg? And they said, uh, we've got flames. I said, done. Let's do the flames. Maybe it'll make me faster than I think I am. What was the reaction when you found out that you were getting? I, I got overwhelmed, excited, told everybody, Watching you run again on a prosthetic leg at the age of 63, did you ever think that would happen again? No, I, I, I well, in my heart and soul, I said, I can do this if I'm given the opportunity. Um, in reality, I thought, well, you'll never get the leg, so just deal with it if you don't. But if you get it, use it as an opportunity. Is the goal to get back and do a 5K or 10K? The first race I want to race is a, is a 5K with my daughters and, oh, and that's cool, probably yeah. around my birthday next year how have you been getting through this the pan the, everything that's been going on well you know the way i've met all the challenges in my life medically um i always say there's somebody worse off than me and i think of the fact that there are people out there that are heroes that they're dealing with it like doctors and nurses teachers truck drivers all these people out there they're risking their lives to keep us going and I think, how, how lucky am I to be in that kind of a situation? Love that. I can't wait to follow the journey and, and watch you run that first 5K on your birthday. Right, July 9th of next year. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Take, Take care. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining us for this very special program and the chance to bring the magic of CAF into your homes and into your lives. We leave you now with a reminder to help by making a donation. If your personal circumstances make that too difficult, please know that we wish you strength to weather these very tough days. We hope the athletes you met help lift your spirits, and we leave you with a song from our friend Jonathan Bastos from Brazil that affirms that absolutely anything is possible. Thank mm -hmm. you.